The oldest surviving song is one that we don't know very much about. We don't know who wrote it, and we don't even know what it sounds like. At first, scholars didn't realise it was a song at all. Across the mid-20th century, archaeologists uncovered a large number of Babylonian artefacts which revealed the ancient culture's advanced musicality. The unearthed relics showed a consistent musical system for tuning an early form of lyre to play melodies designed to be spoken or sung over. The most complete score they found dates back to 1400 BCE and is a series of 36 fragments from a stone tablet of the Hurrian people. It may look like an artisan cheese board, but inscribed on this tablet is a hymn sung to Nikal, the goddess of the orchard. This artifact was found housed at the royal residence of the Ugarit on the North Syrian coast in the 1950s. But it wasn't until about 1970 that scholar Hans Gustav Gutterbock put forward the argument that the inscription was musical notation. Unlike traditional folk songs, which are usually passed on through performance, or songs that are written down using systems that we understand, these ancient findings present us with unique challenges. Archaeologists have uncovered countless songs from different cultures and different centuries in the form of ancient musical scores. Most scores that we have in full come from ancient Greece and are dated back as far as the first century, such as the Sekelos epitaph. But scores are only useful if you know what they tell you to do. We know that these scores give us instructions about pitch, duration and lyrics, but we don't really know how these would be performed or what kinds of notes would have been sung. It's like having a recipe but not knowing what the ingredients are or even where to find them. This leads to lots of questions and imaginings of how music was performed, written, celebrated and lived by humans over 2,000 years ago. And the hymn to Nikal is quite possibly the most beautiful song you'll never hear. So I guess we have to settle for the most beautiful song we have heard. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. And this is where, Pete, you have to edit in the music video of the song where it goes poof and it goes into All Star, okay? You have to. Please. Hey now, you're an all 